And police reiterating they have not named a suspect or person of interest in this case. But KNBC 9's Peggy Bright found detectives have spent a lot of time in Youngerman's Raytown neighborhood since that shooting. She's there now live, Peggy. Well, Chris, Youngerman's home is right across here, right across from this pond. And just moments ago, he made a very brief stop here. We have the only video you'll see of him coming home. Then he left again in just a few minutes. Not named a suspect, the investigation is far from over. I'm sure they're tracking down other leads, but when you have a lead that makes sense, you have to keep pursuing it. Michael Tabman is a retired police officer and FBI commander. He's been involved in a slew of investigations over decades. He says crimes like Pickard's murder are relatively rare. Most likely targeted. You know, it wasn't random, it wasn't in the course of a robbery or a burglary. It appears to be targeting this person. The natural question is who may have done this, who would have the motivation to do it. Which is why police are looking at Youngerman. He just lost a nearly $6 million lawsuit brought against him by a man Pickert represented. And he owns the white van police were looking for, towed from another Youngerman property overnight. The van was behind some trees, not visible from the street. But despite suspicions, Tabman says Kansas City investigators are pros at this and casting a wide net in the search for answers. They're gonna look at ballistics, they're gonna look for more witnesses, they're gonna look for videotapes on or around that area, see what vehicles were coming and going. You just don't know what they're gonna find in the next 24 to 48 hours. Tabman says the most important thing for them now is to not get tunnel vision to leave all possibilities open and let the evidence lead them to the killer. We're live in Raytown. Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. Jackson County Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker tweeting on the case. Posting this morning, police have worked around the clock to gather evidence on the brazen murder of Tom Pickard yesterday. Your help is needed. Place to call, tips hotline, 816-474-TIPS.